Hi, I'm John McManamy, and I live with bipolar disorder. I am both an author and an advocate. I'm here today to share with you what I regard as my first and foremost coping strategy, knowing thyself. Let's get started. Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Without ruthless self-inquiry, we are a rudderless ship on a wind-tossed sea. As a first step, I needed to learn to reach acceptance with my illness, embrace it even. Then I was in a position to manage my illness rather than my illness managing me. But this was not enough. As a second step, I had to learn which part of me, my thoughts and feelings and behavior, was due to my illness and which were due to my personality. This is the distinct distinction between state and trait. State is part of our illness. Trait is part of our personality. Let me give you an example. Often I am animated and enthusiastic. Is this a bad thing? Way more often than not. I am productive, sociable, and generate good ideas. So maybe I'm really exuberant, not manic. Likewise, I feel down much of the time. But guess what? I find myself contemplative introspective and highly focused. So maybe I'm just thinking deep rather than being depressed. But there are times when mania and depression do take over my brain. I don't feel right. I can't think straight. And I can't control my behavior. This is my true illness, one that needs to be treated. It took me years to figure this out. There is one more twist to this. My personality can often get in the way of my recovery. These are traits that are independent of my illness, but that nevertheless interact with my illness. For instance, I have a tendency to isolate, but I learned the hard way that isolating makes me a sitting duck for depression. And this leads to my final point. Each one of us is unique. What may be normal for me may not be normal for you and you are the only one who can make the call. And that can only come from ruthless self-inquiry, from knowing thyself. Self-inquiry also involves getting feedback from others. Establish a good working relationship with your doctor and therapist, reach out to the people around you, find support, and become your own expert patient and advocate. This is John McManamy. For more information, Visit Google and type in Bipolar Disorder Support Groups. Thank you for watching and live well.